Firefighters in Pittston braved long hours in the bitter cold searching for two of their own. Two men, one a volunteer with the Pittston Fire Department, another a volunteer with the West Pittston Fire Department, were battling a blaze that destroyed three buildings on North Main Street in Pittston. Shortly after midnight, the two men went into one of the buildings but never came back out. About 3.30 this afternoon, several ambulances surrounded the back of one of the burned out buildings. Firefighters began setting up tarps. Pittston officials confirmed that searchers found two bodies believed to be those of the firemen. A large crowd began forming. Many people came here to pray that this story would somehow have a better ending. You know, you know these guys and uh, you never think it's going to happen. It's a shame. Uh, what, what brings you down here? I feel sorry for these people. I really do. Our presence with the family, which we were there most of the morning, is, is simply a, all we can do at this moment. State emergency officials blame a snow-covered roof collapse for the death of two Luzerne County firefighters yesterday. But the state police fire marshal says he's not so sure. It could be a couple more days before we know exactly what led to the deaths of the firefighters. Newswatch 16's Mary Ravazio reports the tragedy will not stop other volunteers from fighting fires. A black drape hangs on the West Pittston Volunteer Fire Company in memory of a volunteer who died in the line of duty. Well, our, our host company is over 100 years old, and this is the first time, hopefully the last time, that anything like this is going to happen. Firefighters in the Wyoming Valley are grieving the loss of two firemen, 25-year-old John Lombardo of Pittston and 21-year-old Lennon Salako of West Pittston. The two were first cousins and volunteers for two different fire companies. Both men were fighting this fire in Pittston that destroyed three downtown businesses on Monday. Investigators believe the two may have fallen through the floor of one of the buildings. Fellow firefighters waited outside for hours before their worst fears were confirmed. But despite this tragedy, firefighters who work side by side with the victims say this won't change the way they fight a fire. We can't. We've got to do what we have to do to do the job. It will be hard for me to order somebody in a building again, but I have to do what I have to do. It's my job. And the people that are under me understand that it's their job. You can't have any second thoughts. You have to you know, face this wholeheartedly and you have to go at it. Um, if you stop and worry about what could happen to you, I mean, you know, you, you might not react the way you really should. Hopefully, it'll make us a little more cautious of what we're doing, or a little more aware of what we're doing. Uh, right now, we're not answering any alarms, at least for, for today. Now, just for today, nearby fire companies are covering for the West Piston Volunteer Fire Department. Tomorrow, it will be back to business as usual. Many of the volunteers told us, though they were still grieving the loss of their two co-workers and friends, they would press on and show the same dedication to the community that these two firefighters did. Nolan? Mary, are the fire departments planning any type of memorial for the two? Well, both West Pittston and Pittston fire departments are offering to put together some kind of special memorial service or memorial for the two. They're waiting to hear from the victims' families first, though, before they go ahead with those plans. All right, Mary, thank you.